Hello, and thanks for joining me. Today I'll be making beef and barley soup. Let's get started. Okay, in the pan I have a little bit of oil. And I've let my pan heat up. And here I have some, some chopped beef. It was a little cheaper, so I bought this. But you can buy a better cut if you prefer. Let me get those in there. And we're going to just cook this up. I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning, some garlic powder. And I have some Mrs. Mrs. Dash, salt free of course. That's garlic and herb. That's the kind that I like. Oh. Oh. Wow. I have some salt, a little bit of that, and some pepper. onions, celery, and some carrots. And you can use as much as you would like. If you like a lot of veggies, add a lot of veggies. If you like celery a whole lot, add a lot of celery. One minute. Mm -hmm. Over here I have some, can you see? I have some, some uh, beef broth. I didn't have any in the box. So, I use the bouillon cubes. They're, they're really delicious, too. Um, I just use six cup of, cups of water, and I use six bouillon cubes. And the only reason I use six bouillon cubes is because I know I'll probably add a little more water to it. Otherwise, I would probably only add four bouillon cubes. But it's, a, it's up to you as they uh, dissolve. You can taste them to see if it's flavorful enough for you. I have some diced tomatoes. I'm using uh, fire roasted. Colorful, more than likely, it's good for you. Mm -hmm. Smells delicious. Come on, heat up. Add some of this broth in. Let me stir it up a little. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. And this is going to flavor it up really well. We taste it. Mm-hmm. Taste a little more. Mm. Gonna get this to boil again. Add a little more. And when this comes up to boil, I'm going to add my barley. Love this stuff. My mother used to cook with it a lot. Um, let me let you see what they look like. Mm-hmm. They're going to puff up and get tender and delicious. Let me try about... Let's see. Let's see. A little more than half a cup, I think, should do it. When this starts to really boil, I'm going to add them in. And then we're going to cover it, turn it down on a really low simmer, and we're going to let it cook for about an hour, and then we're going to come back and see how it's doing. Let me taste that again. I like it. I like it. Yeah, when we come back, we'll check it and taste it again to see if we need to add any more seasoning. Probably not very much. Okay, we're going to add them in. Yeah. Mm hmm. Good. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And I guess that would probably come to about a cup. We don't want to add too many because it'll it'll absorb. I'm just feel like this. It'll absorb the juices. Too much of it. We'll have to keep adding. And now I'm going to turn it down on a low, low simmer. I'm going to bring it down. Come on down. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> now that's a low simmer. We're going to cover it, and we're going to come back in an hour. Mm. Yeah, I think we're about there. Let me taste it. Mm, flavorful. I'm going to add a little more seasoning, though. I'm going to add some complete. Sazon complete. Not much, but add it to, to your taste. As much or as little or none, if you like. That's why you taste and you taste and you taste. Make sure you're going to like it. And I have some fresh parsley. Yeah, and I've already turned it off. I use um, uh, quick cooking barley, and that's only because that's only because that's all they had. But you know, if I had a choice, I would use just the regular bar barley. And so we're going to put some of this in the bowl, and we're going to taste it. Mm 
Mm-hmm. And I'm going to add a little bit. This is totally optional. Just a little. And another sprinky dink of parsley. And I have some bread. This is nine. Let me get a spoon so I can taste it. I already know what it tastes like, but... Mm -hmm. One more bite. It's really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for watching, and remember to pray, and then pray some more. Pray for her, pray for him, pray for you. Pray for them. Pray for us. Don't stop praying. Pray. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and tap that bell if you haven't, and if you have, thank you so much. Share with friends and family in a comment. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, stay safe and stay blessed. And throw in another little prayer for what's going on down at the Capitol. I love you. Later. <laughs> Thumbnail. Later.